you know, season two is literally 24 hours away. And I want to share with you the build I'm going to be playing in season two. And I also want to talk about a build that is not getting a lot of love for season two. And I think is going to be a surprise class in the up and coming season two. I hope you stick around and join me. We'll see you on the other side. All right, before I get into the class that I'm going to play, I'm just going to share a little information that I kind of made me think, wow, I wonder why a certain class isn't getting a little bit more respect because I think they're going to be the dark horse in season two. Now, only time will tell whether I'm right or wrong. But anyway, um, so here's Wowhead. I went on to the season two uh, Diablo 4 tier list for classes for the end game. And of course, Druid, Necromancer, and Rogue are on the S tier. No other classes other than those three. And of course, the usual suspects, you know, the Pulverizer Druid, the Bone Spear Necromancer, and the Rapid Fire Twisting Blades Death Trap Rogue, right? Uh, then I went on to Max Roll. GG and as you can see here again they have the necromancer they have the rogue and they have the druid and again death trap twisting blades rogue storm claw pulverizer druid and the infamous infamous necro okay and it got me wondering there's been some major changes of course to all the classes in in uh, Diablo 4 but there are some changes that were made to the class that I will be playing in season two that I just think are going to take it to the next level. So of the five classes, which one will I be playing in season two? Drum roll, please. <laughs> I'm going to be playing the sorcerer. And in my opinion, it's gotten the biggest boost in the patch notes that we got on October 10th. And I feel is a dark horse in season two. And if I'm right, will be a leader in the classes when it comes to not only leveling, gr but grinding and end game. Now the sorcerer already has S tier qualities, when it comes to leveling to 50, it's very fast. And in the beginning of the game up to 50, it's already known as a S tier class where it lacks is between the beginning of beginning and end game. So the middle is where the sorceress really has a bad reputation of not keeping up with the other classes. Um, but I have a feeling that in season two, the sorcerer is gonna shine throughout season two. And I'm gonna explain why. Now I'm gonna outline why I feel the sorcerer is gonna become S tier quality when it comes to season two. But please keep in mind, what I'm about to mention is not the complete reason. I'm just highlighting the big ones just so I can keep this video down to a respectable time. <laughs> All right, so keep that in mind. There are many factors why I feel the Sorcerer is going to be S tier, but these are the top ones, okay? So the first one is damage over time builds are gonna do better in season two just because of the damage bucket updates that the Diablo 4 development team did for season two. Now, we know in theory what's going to happen, but until we actually play the game and see the actual design in game and how it impacts damage, we will obviously not know 100%. But knowing what we know today prior to the launch of season two and all the literature we've had in the patch notes, damage over time builds are going to shine and the sorcerer has it in spades so that is 
one of the reasons why I feel they are going to elevate to S tier status. The second reason why I believe the Sorcerer is going to be the Dark Horse in Season 2 and be an S tier class is because of the Resistances uh, update in Season 2 where we now will have to stack our Resistances dependent on what bosses or enemies we are fighting in other words we're gonna as they mentioned in the live stream and the campfire we're gonna have to solve the resistances puzzle where we're gonna have to pay attention and make sure you know that i believe the cap is 70 um so we need to ensure that our resistances are at the appropriate levels in order to progress in season two and, and Inherently, the Sorcerer will not have to sacrifice as much as the other classes in order to stack resistances. Naturally, by being a Sorcerer and relying on intelligence to give it power, um, it will naturally get resistances and therefore not have to um, give up certain powers or skills in order to place it and stack it on resistances so i feel that the sorcerer will benefit from this and it will make it more powerful therefore elevating it to an s tier status class the other thing and last thing i want to mention because i want to keep it to just three main reasons why is open world activities are going to play a bigger role in leveling getting xp and getting the materials required in order to farm the five new bosses and when it comes to speed farming open world content the sorcerer is an s tier it is known for being able to speed farm open world content hell tides whispers all that content open world is going to be huge in season two it's going to be huge in number one getting xp we have some new events that are coming into season two that are going to be very lucrative when it comes to xp and then we have the traditional things that we're already used to vis-a-vis -vis the hell tides vis-a-vis -vis the legion events the world boss events all open world content where the sorcerer already thrives well that gets multiplied um, when we go into season two and these events in the open world are lucrative from an XP perspective. Also, the fact that we will need to get materials in order to target farm the five new bosses. Well, where did these materials come from? They come from activities in the open world. So in order to target farm these bosses, we need to do open world content. Well, who thrives in clearing open world content efficiently, effectively, and quickly? Well, the sorcerer will. Um, so the sorcerer will be able to finish this content effectively and quickly, therefore giving you the materials quicker, quicker in order to farm the five new bosses. So when it comes to target farming uniques and uber uniques with the five new bosses in season two, the sorcerer is just going to elevate and shine because it can go through that content so quickly. That is why I believe the sorcerer it's not getting a lot of love in the tier lists. I'm, I'm even seeing it with other content creators who are giving it some love, but not putting it up the top tier. 
Um, I've yet to find one that is showing a sorcerer in any S list. And, and if you guys have seen one, please correct me. I would love to know who said it. Um, but the sorcerer in my eyes and only time will tell whether I'm right or wrong. Sorcerer is going to be the dark horse in season two. And that's why I'm choosing to play the sorcerer. Also is the fact that I have not played Sorcerer enough and it's the one class that I have the least amount of time in. So that's the main reason. And then it just happens that I also feel they are going to be the Dark Horse and Shine in Season 2. All right, that'll do it, everyone. That's it. I'm going to be playing the Sorcerer in Season 2. I would love to know what class you'll be playing in season two, let me know in the comments section. I would love to hear what you're going to be playing. And let's see whether I'm going to be right or wrong. And again, only time will tell. But if you agree or disagree with my comments, also please let me know. As I've stated many times in all my Diablo 4 content, the comment section in my videos are unbelievable. I learned so much. So I would appreciate you throwing your hat in the ring, put your opinion, and uh, this way we can talk about it. I would love to hear from you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. I really do appreciate it. And if you can find it in your heart to like, comment, and subscribe, I really would appreciate it. And as always, we'll see you next time. And ooh, actually, we're less than 24 hours than season two dropping. So let me end the video this way. We'll see you in Sanctuary. Take care.